Begin practice on your belly. Find comfort by moving your right knee up towards your chest. Cradle your hands and rest your forehead on your cradled hands. Relax into the mat. Bring awareness to the breath as you soften the body and begin to release and to let go. As you rest on your belly, think of how your body is feeling today. Move your attention to areas that may feel tight or blocked physically, emotionally, and just allow energy as you practice and move from asana to asana today. Allow that energy to fill that space, to warm you, to help bring you into the present moment. You can choose an intention for your practice. Let it be an intention that helps ground you helps keep you present. Let it always honor your body. Let it always help you be kind to your body, to yourself, as you move into your meditation today and begin your yoga experience, your yoga journey. Breathe softly. Feel the breath moving to all spaces in your body, your side body and your back body. It's a different kind of breath when you're on your belly, but nonetheless, it's your life force. It's the breath that nurtures you, that helps bring you life. Rest in the moment, attune to the breath and to all the internal and external sounds within the room. As you're ready to release, roll to your favorite side. Move into a fetal position and begin to acquaint yourself with your body. Become a little bit more aware of how the body is feeling. Notice the curve of your spine the way your arm is cradled underneath your neck and head. And just helping to bring you into the present moment, helping you be aware. Press into the earth and allow yourself to come up into your comfortable shape, your comfortable position. You can sit on a blanket or a block if that helps elevate the buttocks, encourage that forward tilt of your spine. And begin to find some movement with your spine. Circle in one direction, involving the ears, the neck, the head, whatever part of your body feels comfortable in your practice today. And reverse your circle, moving in the opposite direction. Gently awakening the body gently finding some movement. Come to a stillness. Notice where you are, what place you're in. And begin to lower chin to chest, allowing for a gentle movement in the neck. The next time your chin is lowered to your chest, draw that beautiful smile in one direction and then allow the smile to move in the opposite direction. Chin lifts back to center. Breathe softly as you turn towards the right shoulder and turn your chin towards the left shoulder. Always very slow movements when stretching the neck. Right ear releases and left ear releases. And because it feels so good, let your right ear release again, and your left ear release. 
Shrug the shoulders in one direction, forward, and then reverse the shrug in the opposite direction, allowing the shoulder muscles, the arm muscles, all to find some movement. Release from your seated position and come into a table. Wrists under shoulders, feet can be flattened or tucked. And begin to create balance in your practice today. Extend your right leg long behind you, your left arm, and reach with your toes to the back of the room, your fingertips towards the front of the room. Gaze down at your dristy point, your mat, your focal point. Move your right knee in towards the left and reverse your balance. Left leg extends long behind you, right arm in front, reaching with toes and fingertips, gazing down at your dristy point. Moving your right arm in and your left knee in, tucking your toes and beginning to find movement in the spine. Inhaling and exhaling, feeling the vertebrae move, creating that space between the vertebrae and the joints and the ligaments. Always keeping the spine limber for your practice. Tucking chin, moving into cat, and then coming back towards your heels, stretching the heels and inhaling and lifting into dog. Flattening the tops of your feet and stepping the right leg through. You can have a blanket and place it under that back leg. Keep your leg on the mat if there's any discomfort. If not, tuck your toes and lift and lengthen the left leg long behind you finding a deep stretch, gazing down at your mat for balance, always keeping yourself steady and safe. Let your back leg release as you fold over the forward leg, flexing the feet, letting your torso come on that forward leg, finding a deep stretch, a runner stretch, Inhaling and exhaling into the pose, warming all the muscle groups in your legs in a very slow, in a very kind way. Letting the right leg come back, tucking your toes, handprints move up one palm length and move into a downward facing dog. Walk the dog, stretch the calves, stretch the hamstrings, come up on your toes. Just be aware of the body as you inhale and move into a three-leg dog, gazing down at the mat and releasing, walking the dog again and inhaling and lifting opposite leg, left leg into your three-leg dog. Release to the mat, lower to the mat into a table position. Inhale and exhale, keeping the spine limber allowing the spine and vertebrae to move. Stepping the left leg through, and again, deciding if you need to keep it on the mat, rest it on a blanket, or can you extend that right leg long behind you? Feeling the deep stretch in the large muscle groups of the leg. And then lowering to the mat, flatten the top of the foot and moving the buttocks towards the sole of your feet as you flex the forward leg and find a stretch. Lean the torso forward and move the buttocks towards the soles of your feet, lifting and lowering, feeling the stretch and noticing what feels appropriate for your body today. How is your body moving? How does the practice serve you today? Let your left leg come back, move your hand prints up one palm length and return to a downward facing dog. Walking the dog, if there's any tightness, coming up on toes, just noticing, even deciding to widen your downward facing dog. Feeling a different movement, a different stretch and then rolling the toe or so forward as you come into your plank pose. 
chaturanga down to the mat let your elbows squeeze in and come up into a cobra pose feel the shoulder blades squeeze together the chest and torso lift as you gaze over the front of your mat send the buttocks towards the soles of the feet and allow yourself to rest in a child pose you can widen the child pose and stretch your arms long in front of you big toes touch that's one version of the child pose or you can even decide to stack your fists move your knees back together or even place your arms alongside your heels forehead resting on the mat so many versions of child pose to choose so allow your body to move into the shape that feels good for your body feels right for your body come into your table position again and feel the movement in your spine as you breathe into cat and dog palm prints move up and stand into a downward facing dog you should be a little bit more limber now so allow your hands to come back towards your feet Uttanasana you can bend your knees if the hamstrings are tight and move into a ragdoll position feeling the weight of your chest on your thighs straighten your legs breathe into Uttanasana and then power up circle the Sun and move your hands in front of your heart center Anjali Mudra acquaint yourself with your space breathe into your Tadasana your mountain pose notice how you feel be a witness to what the body is experiencing move up a little bit on your mat and prepare for some balance pose feel the weight shift to the left leg as you lift your right knee towards your chest your right arm finds your big toe and straighten your spine as much as possible as you extend the leg long in front of you bend your knee and release tip your toes and let your hands swim out along the sides as you move into a stork pose you can twist your thigh open it to the right and come back and slowly come down focusing bring awareness into the pose and then still with the weight in your left leg raise your the sole of your right foot to your left thigh and come into tree pose your hands can find whatever position is comfortable whatever position helps with the balance but find that tristy point that gaze point in front of you and then slowly release challenging yourself swan diving down Uttanasana your forward fold half lift hands walk up and position yourself to a downward facing dog take a few breaths notice and feel and allow yourself to move towards the back of the mat hang in your Uttanasana or your ragdoll bending the knees feeling the weight of the chest on the thighs straightening your legs and then powering up circling the Sun hands in front of your heart center noticing feeling reacquainting yourself with your space in the room wherever you're practicing today finding a comfortable space on the mat as the weight moves into your right leg left knee moves up left hand finds the toe of your left foot straighten the spine find your gaze point in front of you find your balance arms move out to the side and lift into stork pose 
You can turn your thigh out towards the left, still keeping your hips squared, still finding your gaze point. Feel the weight still in your right leg as you move your left leg up to your inner thigh and prepare for tree pose. Your arms can move into whatever shape feels comfortable in front of your heart center, Gyan Mudra above your head. Find what feels right for your body today. Challenge yourself. Swan dive down to the mat. Find your half lift. Gaze over the front of your mat. And then lower to the earth. Table position. Move the spine again, inhaling and exhaling. Keeping the spine supple and limber. Lift up to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shavasana. Inhale and lift your right leg, three-leg dog. Lower the right leg, and on your next inhale, lift your left leg. Adam, three-leg dog. Walk up towards the front of your mat. Hang in your Uttanasana, or your chair, or your ragdoll pose. Straighten the legs. Come up and sit yourself back in chair pose. Arms alongside your ears. Hips square towards the front of your mat. Soles of your feet planted into the earth. Twist your chair to the right, pressing your palms together to help with the balance. Come back to center and begin your twist to the left, pressing your palms together. Press into the earth, power up. Swan dive down. Uttanasana, your forward fold. Step your right and left leg back, downward facing dog. Lower to the earth, right and left knee. And come around, sitting on your buttocks, slowly, mindfully lowering to the earth. Hugging your knees into your chest, massaging your sacrum right and left. Soles of your feet planted on the earth. Preparing for a hip opener. Lift the soles of your feet, cross your right leg over your left thigh and interlace your fingers behind the left thigh for a deeper stretch. The soles of your feet are flexed. Your shoulders are as close to the earth as possible. Chin slightly tucked. Inhale and exhale. Moving that left thigh in towards your chest. Deepening the stretch. You can uncross and recross in the air. Interlacing your fingers behind your right thigh. Remembering to flex your feet and moving your right thigh in towards your chest. Opening the hips, opening the hip sockets. Chin slightly tucked towards your chest. Inhaling and exhaling. Move into a happy baby's pose. Hands on the outer edges of your feet. Let your knees sink down towards your chest. Rock your baby if there's any movement required. If you need to massage the sacrum again. Hug the knees into the chest. Rock right to left. And then let your knees roll to the right. Your gaze to the left. Find the position for your arms that feel comfortable, that feel right for today's practice. Goal pose above your head. T position across your heart center. Palms facing up or down. You can support your knees, your legs with a blanket. You can support your arms with a block or a blanket. Just find comfort. Allow yourself to begin to turn inward, 
Allow your internal organs to be massaged as you let go and release. Softening the body, attuning to the breath. Remembering to gaze, turn your gaze skyward if there's any discomfort, if your neck is complaining today. Every day is different in practice, but there's always modifications available. Hug your knees in, release from right to left, and then slowly allow your knees to move in the opposite direction. Again, determine which position is good for your arms. Do you need a blanket under your arms? Are your arms okay in T position across your heart center? Do you need your palms turn, turned up or facing down? Or perhaps your arms reaching behind you. Try different shapes, see what feels right. And then soften the body. Soften the breath. Begin to surrender. Turn inward and let go. Find joy in your practice. Find relief. Be aware of the breath. Be aware of your space. Return to your back, hug your knees in. Circle the knees in one direction. Circle the knees in the opposite direction. And then prepare for your ultimate act of surrender, your Shavasana. You can add some weight by placing a blanket on your hips, you can cover yourself with your blanket, but begin to release and let go. Let the body melt as the earth receives you, as the earth supports you. Allow yourselves to continue to turn inward. Rest your heart and allow your heart to receive. Peace within me, peace surrounding me, peace from me, by thy grace let there be peace, by thy grace let there be Begin to find some movement. Stretch in a way that feels comfortable for your body. Eventually moving the soles of your feet to the earth. Rolling into a fetal position. Resting, thanking yourself for honoring your body, for listening to your body. Remembering your intention now as a present truth truth. Slowly coming up, pushing the earth away, 
Moving into a hero's pose if your body allows. Inhaling, moving all the energy that you've created in your practice today down to your heart center, bowing in a humbling gesture. Om Shante, Shante, Shante. May there be peace, peace, peace.